I finally bought a forklift. Check it out. Yes, finally, the day has come. I finally bought a forklift. And it's not for lack of trying. I know if you follow me on Instagram, there's like a constant kind of bickering between me and my friends about how I love using the engine crane. All right, so lesson learned. Um, moving a bridge port in two pieces is way sketchier than moving it in three pieces. Let's get this thing on the ground. And I love moving heavy stuff by hand. Case in point, the iron worker. All my bridge ports. It's the lathe. I've put myself through some real trauma with this gravel driveway. Um, and I've been looking for a machine like this for over a year. Now there's very specific things about this machine that I needed, which is why it took me so long to find one. And I also didn't want to spend like $20,000. So this is a Nissan F01. It's a 2,800 pound capacity forklift. And it will has a triple mass that'll lift like 15 feet or something like that. And it weighs 6,000 pounds. It's got pneumatic tires in the front and rubber tires in the back. It runs off propane and so far it's really great. I'll show you some close-ups of it. So we've got ourselves a Datsun or Nissan, basically the same thing. And what's interesting about this forklift in particular is it's got a, a multi-stage mast, which will be good to keep the top of the mast low when you have a lifted load. So a lot of times when you lift with a forklift, the mast goes up, which makes the whole machine taller and sometimes can't fit through a door. But with this mast and my low doors, I'll still be able to have something lifted and go through it. So like I said, it's got these pneumatic tires over here on the front and then solid rubber tires on the back. And the whole machine weighs 6,200 pounds. Um, and that was one of the other things that I was kind of worried about when I was looking for forklifts was I didn't want to get something that was so heavy that if I did get it stuck, I wouldn't be able to pull it out with like a come along or anything. We actually did get it stuck already today and Mac and I were able to hook a come along up to that pipe and basically just pull it out, which was super easy, but only because it only weighs as much as like, kind of like a full size pickup truck. So one of the other interesting things about this forklift in particular is it has this one lever for the tilt, lift and drop. So instead of having a lever for tilt and a lever for lift, you've just got this one. So if you wanna go up, you have to go down to the left. If you wanna go tilt, you have to go down to the right. And if you wanna go up and tilt back, you go into the center there. So what it allows you to do is it allows you to be holding the wheel with one hand and operating the lift and lower with the other hand. This was originally, I think, a gas machine and it was converted to propane, but I don't know for sure. Um, and what's cool about it too is it's just, it's so small. And it might be hard to tell in the video, but it's only four feet wide and about eight feet long without the forks. So it's super compact and it'll make it really easy for me to kind of store it here in the yard. And then if I ever do need to move it, I don't need to call like a heavy duty wrecker. I can call basically my regular tow truck guy and he can move it for me because it's just a little over 6,000 pounds. All right, that's it. I just wanted to show off my new forklift. I'm so happy that I have this thing. And yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to because I've definitely already gotten it stuck a few times in the gravel. But the last time I think it was because I slammed on the brakes to try to look cool and I kind of dug myself in. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing is because my gravel is kind of deep, if I have my forks all the way, all the way down, I think my mast might be bottoming out on the ground, which is then allowing my kind of front end to lift up and then my wheel starts spinning. So I've just got to learn sort of the ins and outs of using this machine. Now, I really want to kind of restore it um, and make it look nice again. I want to fix some things, fix the lights, 
um, and make it like new. Uh, the motor and the mechanics on it seem pretty good. There might be an issue where uh, something in there past the regulator is icing up uh, the valve body or something. So if anybody knows about these types of forklifts, um, I'd love to get a little bit of help. I found some videos online and I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal to sort of fix, but I would love any input and any help. So this is gonna be huge here. This is gonna allow me to bring in a really exciting new machine that I bought. And if you follow me on Instagram right here at Make Everything Shop, you know what it is. Um, it's something that I've wanted for a really long time and it's super, super rare. And if this machine is gonna make me able to get it and bring it into the shop, because I think otherwise it would be really dangerous and super annoying. So anyway, that's it. Quick little video to show off my new toy. Very excited. This is like my early Christmas gift to myself. Stay tuned, subscribe for more. Leave a comment down below if you know anything about these machines. I'm also looking for the service manual. So if you know where I can get one of those, that would be great too. And uh, stay tuned for more. Again, I'm Chris Zepp for Make Everything and I'll see you on the next video.